people say it better than Eric Russell. Just one more time. Just think of how many teams in this country today are saying just one time. Just one time. Those teams are saying I'd love to be a national champion just once. But Georgia Southern is not one of those teams. We've already celebrated our first time and our second time and our third time and our sixth time. And today we start the journey to celebrate another flag in Paulson Stadium. And mark my words, in the not too distant future, Georgia Southern will no longer be saying one more time for an FCS championship. We'll be saying one more time for a BCS championship. Today is truly a special day as we celebrate and honor Irk Russell and the legacy he established with the unveiling of this statue. Irk established a winning tradition that has become Eagle football more than 30 years ago. And he set the bar that we're using today and the bar that we'll be using in the future as a measure of our success. So today we celebrate that tradition with this unveiling. But today is also a very special day because we celebrate the spirit of the Eagle Nation epitomized by loyal supporters like Derek Sills. Our future is bright and our goals are ambitious. And we are assured of success because of the winning traditions that were set down by her and the many coaches and players that came after him and by the Eagle Nation faithful like all of you and like Derek Sills. Thank you so much for what you do. Thank you for continuing to do what you do to make this the greatest football program in America. Thank you so much for your support and go Eagles! Um, everybody re repeat after me. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. Okay, good. Y'all are good. You followed directions well. <laughs> that chant began in this the prettiest little stadium in America, I guess, 27 years ago about this time. Georgia Southern was playing Jacksonville State in the first ever playoff game. And uh, Irv decided to break out that shirt just one more time. And it's on the stadium now. Uh, you may be surprised where else it is, but uh, it's really cool. Um, Rusty and I and Dad, once we were all adults, Rusty's much older than I was, so I had to catch up. <laughs> Whenever we posed for a photograph, nobody wanted to be the shortest guy. So we would all stand on our tiptoes so that we wouldn't, when the photograph came out, we wouldn't be the most, uh, what do you call it, staturally impaired. Okay? <laughs> Today, there's no doubt who the tallest guy is, and rightfully so. We certainly appreciate the efforts of Derek, uh, the sculptor who is not here. Uh, I look forward to meeting him. What a talented guy he is. And first and foremost, uh, Georgia Southern. Uh, what a great place. What a great place that welcomed Irk here in 1981, got behind him, and saw him through all his success. I was very fortunate to play for Coach Russell, to work for Coach Russell, and to grow up under Coach Russell. And um, that's a blessing that I will never, ever, 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 any of those things, forget. But we appreciate what Georgia Southern has done for him and our family. Thank you very much, and now I'm going to turn it over to my very older brother. Thank you. It's great to be here. Uh, I believe Jay misspoke when he said that we had all, we were all adults. <laughs> Do right. This will gratify some people and astonish the rest. Really a very, very simple phrase, philosophy, but really just great that Irk had that as a working axiom because it was simple, it was funny, it was very, very effective. 
And those of you that know Work or know a lot about him know that that's how he was. Keep it simple, stupid. I remember uh, my favorite talk of all Irk's talks that he gave was titled The ABCs of Coaching. But it didn't have to be coaching. It was life. It's one of the reasons all you guys are here. You see things that happen to you every day happen with a magnifying glass on that field. And that's why it's such a great game and such a great pastime. But in the ABCs of coaching, or stated simply, number one, the A was for good attitude. Number two, the B, well, we'll say that was for gut. <laughs> <laughs> and C was for good communication. Again, simple, wise, way beyond its simplicity but effective and working. And that's how Irk was. I know Irk left that with Jay and I. I hope that Irk leaves a little bit of that with everybody here, everybody that was fortunate enough to put on a helmet and play for him, and everybody that walks by him from now on. Thank you very much. Now we'll have uh, Derek Seals and uh, Phil Moore come help us, and uh, I like what Jay did. Let's uh, let's start the one more time chant again, and let's uh, let's pull this thing off. One more time. One more.